Hey everybody, I was on my way over to the coast. I got a two day golf tournament over there at uh, Napolo. On my way to Morro Bay where I'm gonna end up staying. And uh, thought I would take this little detour out to a place called Parkfield. Parkfield is out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, what makes it an interesting place is that, so I'm told, it is the most geologically active spot in the United States. Right behind me here, where that bridge goes across, right in the middle of that creek is the San Andreas Fault. And that is where the Pacific Plate, I think the Pacific Plate goes underneath the North American Plate. Uh, might be the other way around. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, could easily have that backwards. But uh, it's an interesting place. So let's uh, turn around and talk about it a little bit. Well, as you can see, Shalom is 17 miles that way. That's how I came in. Bakersfield's that way. San Miguel, 24 miles that way. For those of you who do not know, Shalom is near where James Dean was killed in a car wreck in 1955, 56. I'm not a big James Dean fan, so I don't know the exact dates. San Miguel, where this road uh, intersects with the Highway 101 out there, uh, or close to it is one of the original California missions built by the Spanish and uh, it was pretty badly damaged in an earthquake about 20 years ago and it uh, took them a while to get it fixed up but I think they're all done with it now probably got it done just in time for COVID to hit but anyway that was uh, Parkfield Kalinga Road Kalinga's about 30 miles up that road I've never been any further than Parkfield it's just around the curve there let's we'll go up there sometime but anyway you see here we are at San Andreas Fault we are on the Pacific Plate right now. We are standing on the Pacific Plate. San Andreas Fault runs right down on Creek Bed, and that is where the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate come together. I believe the Pacific Plate goes under the North American Plate, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not a geologist. I'm just a know-it-all. This bridge, you can see, if you look down it, you can see how it bows over to the right on both sides that is because the bridge straddles the San Andreas Fault and that fault is always moving um, this bridge will have to be replaced at some point but uh, let's uh, go check out underneath there some cool cool stuff down there all right well you saw from above it's not a very significant bridge it's not very long and it's not very wide, but since it is situated on the San Andreas Fault, it has a pretty significant substructure. Its supports are, as you can see, very, very heavy, steel and concrete, and they have a lot of room for the bridge to move underneath these supports. Come over to the other side of the bridge here, and now standing on the Pacific Plate. This is a very, very sparsely populated area, so traffic isn't an issue. That doesn't mean that I still can't get run over by somebody out here. So I am being aware, but Unlikely I'll get hit by a car. Got this expansion joint here. And uh, for those of you who know anything about bridges, expansion joints are usually only used on <laughs> more significant bridges. But when you're sitting on top of one of the nastiest faults in the United States, you need an expansion joint on your bridge. I don't know exactly where the fault is, but we'll just say it's right here. And I got one foot on the Pacific plate and one foot on the North American plate. And I think that that is pretty cool. All right, let's go up into part field proper. As you can see, 
park field. It's not a big place, but it is a real place. And when I said that this is the most geologically active spot in the United States, that isn't really accurate. This is the most geologically active town in the United States. All right, for a town with a population of 18, Parkfield has its own school. Got a nice little playground there for the kids. A fire station. Actually, that's a Cal Fire. That's a state thing, but there is a fire station here in uh, Parkfield. Little board there for community messages. And the United States Geological Survey actually has an office here and a site to uh, keep track of movement. You see it's part of the University of California at Berkeley Seismological Laboratory. And uh, they have delicate instruments in there that keep track of all the movement. And over there between those two buildings, you can see they have another piece of equipment over there. I was told that at one time there was a, a laser facility here that that kept track of that. I don't know if that's accurate. If you know, you know in the comments below. But anyway, the USGS does have and maintain a station here. All right, we are in downtown Parkfield at the intersection of Parkfield, Kalinga Road, and Oak Road, which appears to be the only intersection in town. This is Parkfield Lodge. You can actually come here, get yourself a room, and uh, looks like they have a couple of bungalows there. And I am going to go in here to the Parkfield Inn and get me something to eat. I haven't been eating here. I don't even remember the last time I was here. And uh, they have good breakfasts. We'll see if they have good burgers. All right, let's go check it out. Well, before I go in, here next to the lodge is Parkfield Shell. I'm assuming that there used to be a gas station here. See, there's a little park over there. I don't know if that's public or if that's private. Maybe part of the Parkfield Lodge, I don't know. Cool little fountain there. Uh-oh, rush hour. Cool little cowboy statue here. Friendly guy. One of the uh, things they do have here at Parkfield, you can see on that wagon back there, is every Mother's Day weekend they have a bluegrass festival here. I understand they also have a pretty popular rodeo here. And I've never been to it. Uh, I love bluegrass, but I've just never been out here while they were doing that. But I understand it's very popular, and this place gets really crowded when it's going on. And I might add that my phone keeps shutting off because it's overheating. It's 6.30 in the evening, and it's about 102 degrees, according to my thermometer in my truck. And uh, the phone doesn't like the older it gets. It doesn't like hot weather any more than I do. Come to think of it, when it gets too hot, I shut down as well. All right, enough of this silliness. Let's go get something to eat. Well, went in, had myself a big fat burger. It was really, really good. Uh, can't wait to grab Jennifer, maybe a couple of friends on bikes if it ever cools down. Right out and have some lunch. I don't do breakfast anymore. But I did see a 2021 calendar of events, and the Bluegrass Festival is on that, as is the rodeo and uh, quite a few other events. So if you're looking for a cool little place to come have some fun, uh, look Parkfield up online. Check out their calendar of events. Come out here, check out the most geologically active community in the United States. Have you a little food, have you a little fun, and enjoy yourself. All right, well, as usual, keep dropping me the ideas, drop the comments below, shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. I'll see you all later, maybe here at Parkfield.